Hi everybody, welcome on in to our continued playthrough of Grounded, day 43 of this madness. So, outside of that slight lag spike, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and not that one. Okay, I think we're good now. Um, oh, yeah. That's interesting. I thought I put you... Oh, he is over there. He sounded like he was right next to me. Um... Probably today is going to be much like it was on Wednesday. We're really just kind of focused on building, defending against raids, um, that kind of stuff. Let's uh, go to D. Let's go. Wait, who's coming? Oh, infected bugs. Let's take that off. Let's get guard dog. Whatever guard dog is, there we go. You know, I, I've noticed that too. I feel like maybe we should start logging off away from base. I, I, I feel like we should start logging off just away. Because it seems to happen probably every other time we start stream, I get attacked. And it's always just kind of like... logged out elsewhere and it, it doesn't seem to happen. I'll do your prey Paula here and after this little madness. Yeah, maybe we're gonna have to start doing it. I always felt like it was like it's a very nice place to log out. It's like log out in your base. I guess it must be hard coded into the game to like actually have the attacks as soon as you log in. No, don't! Urgh. Yeah, maybe we'll have to start doing that. Because I'd be worried going forward then if we, like, log out on the zip line. We just have to, like, go and We're going to have to, like, have, like, a zip line that we just... Our log out area. Where we just zip line over and log... We should go... We'll, we'll go... We'll have to maybe start going over by the hedge. Go, go log out over there. <laughs> I'd like to see him raid that. Sir? You can't get in that way. That's not how that works. Please... Uh... Go somewhere else. <laughs> anyway. Good luck, Tenchi. Thirteen, that's good. It's a good roll. That's a good roll. 13 is nice. Where's my... Oh, shoot. My pen's not here. One second. Oh, I mean, it's only a one, but... Give me one second. Keep track of these via notepad because it's just simpler to keep track of. Let's see. That was a one, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Hedge side chats for the end of the street. Build like build a little non-essential cab cabin with a fireplace. I was gonna build the arena over by the hedge. I mean I'm, you know, that we were going to do that, but it also seems like ground attacks tend to come through here. So maybe when we move this stuff in, we'll put like a, tur a pebble turret. We'll like take these walls down. We'll put like a little pebble turret there 
That way we can better defend that area, because the ground forces keep coming through here. I kind of shudder at what's going to happen with the larger, uh, like, aerial, at aerial attacks, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, we're still just kind of working on finalizing this, so that way we're, you know, situated and ready to go for the, you know, actual end game. Ah, here's where we ended up. So we're work working on working on replacing this floor. That's what it was, because we're kind of moving all this stuff around. We redid all this. Now we just have like big chests. So I think what we need to do is uh, the first thing is we're getting some. We gotta go get some more fifth, some more, some more, some more burrs. Can't talk. Uh, armor. Safety first. Uh, let's take a thing of food with us, actually. Let's go get some thistle. I love this. Yeah! I'm sure the uh, the haze stuff is not exactly ready yet. So I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go for for thistle, or for not for thistle for burrs. I call them thistles because they got, you know, they're spiky birds. Oh. You know, there's that. And I think the next, our next game that we're going to be streaming has been decided. Um, I don't know if anybody saw the post I made in Discord that Outward 2 has been officially announced so it is time for us to return to outward exactly so we're going to and not only that um i'm going to be playing outward with wolflow because he, he was interested in that we were actually supposed to play outward last year but something happened that prevented us from actually starting Either he was busy or I was busy. I can't. I can't quite remember. Do I have my? Uh... No, I don't. Cause I'm about to drop. There's a lot of burrs right there. Cause I'll need my gas mask. So we're gonna go ahead and Wolfo and I are gonna be playing outward here pretty soon. Uh, I'm not quite sure when that's exactly going to start. I am going to be ready by the time I get back from my Vegas trip. We basically have until I get back from Vegas to get grounded to a point where we can like play it on the weekends. Because we're literally just grinding for the end of the game, basically. So, do you have a side game decided, or is Paulo still doing the same game? What do you mean? I mean, we're not like replacing Paulo with anything. Paulo will still be Paulo's, but the summoning Paulo thing. Yeah, that'll that'll still be there. We're going to be, uh, as far as our main game will be outward, I don't think Wolflow is going to be able to play, you know, five days a week. So, 
Ow, I was trying to bury that. Now we're placing Paula with a different Paula game. No, no, we're gonna keep with we're gonna stick with Chula. That's uh, that Chula is gonna be it. So that's that's how we're how we're rolling from this point forward. All Chula. Not changing it anymore. We'll eventually go back to like when you do, when you guys have a good roll, it like redeems something. If that's what you're talking about, that will be returning. We'll still be doing Chula. I kind of sidelined that for now because A, the dog had her issues, so I really wasn't wanting to give her treats. And when I'm starting to take away a bunch of like possible redemptions, it was kind of like silly to keep it. So, will the rules change for Outwar 2? No. No, it'll, it'll still be the same. Oopsie. Come on now. I mean, we might come up with like something for when Wolflo and I die. Well, kind of like how we did for Terraria. We did like a. Ow. I'm trying to save you. Stop resisting. There we go. There we go. Got him. Like when we had Terraria, it was like every 10 deaths, ow, we gave the dog a treat or something, but like every death or something, we'll have like a free roll or something like that, I don't know. Not gonna randomize the roll outcomes, keep on- well no, because I mean the roll outcomes, like, it's more or less like a D&D &D style, whether or not you hit or, hit or miss. And if you miss, then it's actually like the enemy hitting you. How I kind of designed designed it around. So basically, so Chula works. So you roll the you roll that uh, d20. Anything under under a ten is considered a miss. But then you guys like the tokens take damage. And then after so much damage, you lose a token. So either you lose all four tokens, or you complete all through all six shaps, and then. You guys win or lose, depending on what happens. Like, that that system won't change. But what's really funny is I think... That tastes really good. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that... Wolflow is going to get to decide what storyline we go. So there's... I mean, there's three main storylines that you can go down in the game. And you can only go on go down one at a time, like one per playthrough. Wolflo gets to pick which one it is, but with the build that he's probably going to go with, we're most likely going to go back through Levant again, which is exactly the place that I went to on my first playthrough. Which I don't know if they've fixed that town yet, but I just remember that the town of Levant just destroys my computer. Like, the, it just, my computer starts running really hot. It's just like an unoptimized zone. I don't know if they fixed that yet. Or if they were ever going to fix it. But, I just remember going into that town was horrible. But it, it does seem like the build that he's going to go with. Like, virtually every archer build that you can ever dream of. Almost requires you to go down that path. Watch it. Coming like Ogremar in the World of Warcraft? Yeah, kinda, pretty much. In fact, speaking of Wolflo, I am getting like a ton of messages from him all of a sudden. Oh, so he's, yeah, he's he's even talking about how he's not quite sure how much he's going to... Because, you know, Outward is a game where, like, it's kind of like Path of Exile in the sense that you can easily screw your character up if you pick the wrong skills. So it's not necessarily that you need to, like, go through, like, a meta build, but understanding what um, breakthroughs that you want to go down 
is really the primary focus of it. Because once you once you use a primer, I don't I don't think there's a way for you to undo it. So if you pick the wrong one, you're stuck with that one for the remainder of that playthrough. So you can you can easily break your character. That being said, you could also you know adapt your character if you accidentally pick the wrong one. I'm sure you could still build like a viable end game build from pretty much doing anything. I mean, there are builds out there that uh, people have that are almost like completely unoptimized, but they're actually still pretty broken. I mean, I'm planning on continuing down. If, as, if, if Wolfo is going to be playing an archer, I'm going to be basically playing the exact same character that I did before, but I'm going to put one item in my legacy chest. I fired up the game, I still have my old save too. I'm gonna put one item in my legacy ch oh, just to um, transform it really quick. Not another one. But that, other than that, I'm gonna be doing essentially the same build that we did before. I still wanna play through the game on all three storylines, so I already have a build for every single faction that I'm gonna play. And Funnily enough, the builds, uh, I have basically two weapons, the sword and the halberd, and all four of the builds basically play off each other. So I got, you know, the build that we're going to play with uh, Wolfless playthrough, but there's another version of using literally the same weapons, just a different faction and different play style that I'm going to be able to, you know, use with the legacy chest and such kind of get through all uh, all three of the storylines. Need more burrs. See, I'm not sure entirely when we're going to start. I feel like I want to start when I get back from uh, my Vegas trip. So, I do, that would be... What is today? Um, three weeks from now we would be starting. And since I doubt Wolflow will be able to like stream every day, like I'll be lucky if he can join me for three of my stream times. So the other times will be essentially grounded, basically. You know, us pushing for the 100% on grounded. When we're done with that, I mean, we'll... We still have DRG that I plan on streaming at least once a week. And we are coming to the end of uh, end of bowling. So, I mean, once bowling is over, that opens up a lot of more stream times for me. So we're going to have quite a bit of uh, availability here pretty soon. will actually work out in the end for me you know summer summer is the time that i usually get a lot of my gaming in that's the only real time we can really finish games like just back to back start thinking about heading back we've got like 60 of them how many do we need oh, I cannot build cannot build in combat oh, that's dumb I mean I get it but still Healing 
a breath. Uh, only only needed thirty. Well, we we still need more because we're only doing one section of the floor at the moment. You know, we're putting where the crafting uh, stuff is gonna go. So with that being first. That ant's got some moves. Just a little harder to see. Yeah, so let's go ahead and he well, let let's head back after I get this one here. Okay. Alright, let's head back. We got 64 of them. Entirely possible that might be enough for what we need. I'm sure we'll have to go collect some more. Because we'll want to get the upper... Uh, the upper floor done, too. be really funny if like lighting a torch up inside the stink bugs thing would just like cause an explosion that'd be pretty that'd be hilarious i mean not so hilarious to the fact that i would die but it would be hilarious like a mechanic wise all right this way Also, once Wolflo and I are done with Outward, then we'll probably be playing Altera Risa, if I can pronounce that correctly. Because Wolflo really wants me to play that game, and so it's more of a, uh, sort of a deal that I'll play that if he, you know, plays the game with me. Then we'll have to have Wolfo play something else with me in order to get me to play the second game. So we'll have we'll have a little system going on, I think. Let's head back, we'll go to sleep, get the daytime. Hydration is the key to performance. Me looking to see, looking to see if it was a uh, that was her or not. I think I have uh, enough spaces to store all of these. So we'll just let them despawn if necessary. I think the ones, the stuff out here, I think is full. Yeah, they both look full. Bring them back inside. Yeah, 
Yep, all full. Uh, let's see if we can make a temporary one. Oh, never mind. I'll just let him. I'm gonna still let him despawn. Have plenty. What do I need for this? Oh, we need more pine cones. Oh, that's gonna be the next thing. I have to get more pine cones now. Okay, so now we got this floor in. Get these guys out of the way. Now we can put these things in place. How's the game going? Oh, we're, oh, we're doing fine. We're basically just, uh, probably this stream and several other streams. We got like four different build projects I want to work on. And then we got to push for a hundred percent. So still haven't unleashed the wasps yet. I'm kind of saving those for later, but, uh, yeah, we're pretty much just building this stream. I'm trying to get my crafting area situated here. Then we have a... What other building projects do we have? I want to make an arena for the waft emitter. We got to finalize our zipline network area. So, but I figure I might as well try to spend some streams doing this because otherwise we're going to get close to being having the game being over and I'm going to be like just interested in bum rushing it and then it's just going to be like I'm, my base is just going to look like garbage so any idea if they're going to release more oh they uh I didn't read it but I think they have an announcement coming up in um Oh god, what's what what is the gaming thing that's com that's coming up I think next week? It was like a convention or something. I'm trying to remember what the name is, but they said that they're going to give more information on the next update there. I don't think it was Academy Awards. I'm trying to think of what it was. Uh, where should I put my ovens? It's an exhaust vent. I don't think I should be putting them underneath my chest to have them like, just burn them away. I need to put the ovens over here. People are speculating, though, that because they're going to make announcements at this expo or whatever, that they're going to, re like, either this update's going to be more massive than people are thinking, or some people are saying that they might announce a new project. Which, you know, Grounded 2 would be a great, uh... A great announcement, in my opinion. I don't think they said they were interested in making a DLC for this game. To do a new Vegas style remake it, bigger, different yard. Yeah, that would be that would be kind of awesome. Supposedly there's a uh there's an area, which I haven't found yet, of, like, a teaser for a lab in the pond or something. So some people suspect that you're going to be able to fight the koi fish. I didn't really... I haven't really uh, invested in doing a lot of research into rumors. But I do know that... Everything looks good for we're probably going to be still playing this game when 1.4 comes out. In some form, form of fashion. I mean, once we're done with the build projects, Grounded's going to become a side game for me while I move on to Outward. Or I should say move back to Outward. Oops. Oh, come on now. There you go. But I do want to 100% the game, so... 
with 1.4 on the horizon and they're probably releasing a new boss and probably a couple new bugs maybe to fight i'm not in a terrible hurry we still have uh quite a few gold cards we have to get i'm actually i'm kind of hoping that they nerf the gold cards in 1.4 and make it just slightly easier for me to get 100%. I think that's kind of what, I, what I'm hoping for. That's my biggest hope. I don't want to be one of the people saying, like, I was there when they had to have a 1% drop rate on gold cards. That's still kind of a scummy thing, in my opinion. I should really just get rid of these. They're not going to be in this... Uh, in this place although i might have some bug portraits here i mean we have this whole wall right here that i have no clue what i'm going to do with yet i really need to get that raw science that's sitting out on that tree branch in fact let's go get that i'm gonna i'm gonna go get that because i'm i'm really annoyed really by good. hearing it that's it there you go get pa pax east okay Yeah, I couldn't, I just couldn't remember the name, but I knew it was this month. And funny enough, that's actually, uh, March 23rd is the day, that's a Saturday, right? That, that's actually the day I come back from Vegas. So, like, I'm not going, uh, I I'm gonna be gone from, uh, the 20th to the 23rd. We're gonna be having some fun, in, some fun in Vegas. Um, let's try going up from the roof. Seems like an easier way to get up there. Yes, that, yes. The, there's a door in the game that is apparently you can get to it in the pond. Uh, I have not found it yet. But I haven't really been actively searching for it either. So I'm not entirely sure. See, can I get up from right here? Or do I gotta go on the actual, like, roof? Oh, no. We're good. There we go. Okay, now we don't have to ever listen to that again. Awesome. I think somebody, some people have said it's in the northern part of the pond. Like, I, f I feel like somebody said it was on this side of the pond, but I have not, I haven't found it yet. But it's a mysterious door that is currently closed up. And that's kind of what they're, where people are expecting that's where 1.4 is going to take us to. wall side on the lower level so are we talking uh this guy you talking right here tenchi north i was like along the northern wall this northern wall here Yeah, right now you can only get in there through glitches. That is, that is correct. Oh, okay. So it's all on this this wall here. Okay. I don't know. Did we have? Did we get all of the locations in the pond? Am I missing? Am I missing stuff? I'm missing one thing in the pond. Um. Maybe we'll have to go through the lab area again. I think most of this stuff should really be in the lab. Uh, as far as locate, I have all the locations in the pond, but I'm sure we're missing. I'm sure I'm missing a couple molars in the pond as well. So, oh yeah, I can't. can't I, I don't. I don't have links on the on the chat, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, I. Uh, I don't. I mean, I technically, I really don't. I necessarily care where it is because I'm not going to care until 1.4 anyway, but 
I mean, I'm not going to find it or try to glitch into it or anything. I'm a patient person. I can wait. Oh, Actually, this is food. I'm going to put this over here. <laughs> it just went under the floor for whatever reason. Oh, I still had one more. Um, we'll do this. Kind of move this guy over slightly. There we go. Then we'll put some candle. Another one over here. We get all the sconce over here on this guy. What do you mean unsupported requires wall? That is a wall. There we go. Alright, so now we got our crafting area basically done. Uh, I don't know. I think a chandelier would good look good there. Or would it be too, too massive of an object? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Darn, I guess not. I think there's another, there's another chandelier. I don't know. If, I think it's the wasp one. But it's probably similar. Probably can't uh, because I got that thing there. It probably won't won't won't, won't look good. All right, let's keep going with replacing this floor here. Thing is, we have like a ton, ton of room. I almost feel like we could almost put like a little, the little kitchen stuff on this corner here, or I mean, it'll most likely go right here. But I have like some armor stands and stuff. We can like move these armor stands up there, and then put this as kind of like a bunch of bug uh, stuff and stuffed bugs down here. I was going to build like a little museum thing over there, but. You know, the more that we're refining this place, uh, the more that I don't think that's going to be necessary in the end. I mean, we, we probably still can't fit every bug. It's like, the point is I want to build the stuffed version of every single bug in the game. Ran out of burrs. They go get some more. I should just I should just start throwing these off the edge. Go back to littering the pond. I don't need to turn these into plant fibers. We don't need any. We don't need any more of that. We have what? I have two point one thousand plant fibers. I don't need any more. Definitely don't need any more, but we should probably I make this stuff, I guess. We're gonna we're gonna need more lint anyway. And I do need to still get rid of some termite parts, so let's make some more repair glue. Um, we're still working on I oh we need to go to the undershed. I need to get some twinkling shells because we need to upgrade I want to get the mint mace maxed out next. So, um... Why don't we do that? Because the, the twinkling shells need to start the respawn cycle. Armor protection, engage! Okay. All right, let's head over to 
Get some twinkling shells. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be streaming tonight. I do plan on playing some Deep Rock Galactic, uh, if Tenchi is available. Tenchi. Um, I wanted to do a deep dive tonight. Cause I think they, I think the deep dives reset on Tuesday, so there should be a new one. I'm actually working on my uh, weekly core assignment as well right now. Monty, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I do a ping on the Discord. I know Monty want to play, although I, I, I don't think Monty or Wolflo has high enough characters for deep dives. I'm not sure if the host initiates it, can somebody that hasn't unlocked it still go, or how does that work? We could always try, and if it can't be, watch out, B. If it doesn't work out, then uh, then we just work on whatever they need to work on. I'm fine with that. I gotta rank up classes anyway. But you and I, Tenchi, will for sure need to figure out some sort of uh. You're saying you're over dwarf? No, no. Wait a minute, you you said you didn't even do a deep dive before. Like, you haven't even tried yet, have you? Have you done a deep dive? They're really fun. They're time-consuming, but they're fun. I just know you need to have at least one character promoted to unlock them. So I just, I'm not sure... Uh, if you don't have a... It unlocked whether you can go even though the host initiates it. That's something you pro that's something we probably have to Google. Still green beer, but the gray is coming through. I mean it it takes a lot of time, so I mean I when I did mine solo, it still took me a good we have a termite problem. like almost hour and a half to get through all three missions. <laughs> I guess as long as I'm here, I should probably grab these. No! That stinks. Oh, Tenchi, wait. Um, Tenchi, real quick. Uh, redeem the hydrate thing. I want to see if the thing Bob is working. Forgot to mention that. Hydration is the key to performance. Okay, I heard that. Did you hear that? Was it too loud? I did find out what happened. Apparently, like Hydration it changed. It changed the uh, location, or the, like the output source is no, like no longer a thing, and I'm not sure what happened there. Good volume? Okay, good. I probably should have brought my hat. Excuse me. Whoa. That one looks almost beautiful. Get back here. I need to stab you. Thank you. now only promoted classes can participate okay so Ooh. wait a minute I thought you could do a deep dive even though even though you have a class that's not you just need one class to be promoted like I could go on I could go into a deep dive with my gunner I thought that's how it worked did I get all of them I thought I only killed like two 
How many did I get? Oh, I got 13. Okay, I guess that's fair. Well, well, we'll see what happens tonight. I mean, if we can't do a deep, drop, deep dive tonight, maybe you and I can just kind of do one at some point tomorrow. I am hoping to stream tomorrow as well. In the afternoon, I mean. But yeah, Monty's a little more flexible now because he's on an off-season for uh, Conqueror's Blade. Which I missed that game, too. You know, not gonna lie, if that game switched back, or switched the, uh, not switched back, but switched the days that they did their, like, main primary war event, I would completely, I would just go all in on, Conquer on Conqueror's Blade again. Because that was still a fun game to play. Just the war times didn't really work out. Yeah, I saw a bunch of furs. There we are. As long as we're over here, might as well collect them. Should probably get this donut too. Watch it, Speedy coming through. Only promoted classes. Oh, okay. So we'll see. After dinner, I'll make a ping in the Discord, and you know, if Wolflow and them are available and want to join us, then we can kind of work on, you know, work on either their stuff or just whoever has a mission that uh, lines up with the current drink of the day. then you and I can kind of do a deep dive on our own. So I know Monty hasn't really played the game all that much. I think Prod might actually even uh, be interested in joining. I'm not sure what he's up to, but I know he has the game. There was a place I needed to blow up over here too, and I can't remember where that was. Peeping goggles equipped. Oh, look who's stuck. I'm gonna aggro him though. Throw your rocks at someone else! <laughs> Whoops. I was attempting to back up and it did not work out. Get him, Ant. Oh, not, no, not you. Oh, ow. Not sure why that ladybird ha bird hasn't, uh, after me yet. There's a lot of like random like weird things going on right now. Ooh, that was a good that was a good kind of like 
oops block. That worked out great. Like I hit the block button, but I didn't mean to. I ended up parrying what I needed to parry. Feeling refreshed. I like how most of my time is being spent in like my builder mode or my movement mutations. I guess mutations just don't matter in this game anymore. Oh, hey, we discovered a the Fizam cam. Can, not cam. Yeah, we got a couple couple more places we got to find yet in the upper yard here. Quite sure if he was gonna make it out of that. Ow. Ow. Okay, this isn't a really, really good idea right now. my boots. Armor protection engage. That was like my chest piece that broke. Come back. You see them, they're just complete opposites of what these are in real life. Real life, these things stick to everything. In grounded, nope. They're just really hard to catch. Yeah, zip line right here. I'm gonna have to start thinking about going back anyway because I'm gonna need food. We gotta start doing those too. And I've said that like almost every other stream too. We gotta start doing that. We gotta start doing that. But we got a lot of things that we need to do in this game. Despite the, back, the, despite the fact that we can basically go do the final quest now and beat the game if we really wanted to. I need food. 
Hello, food. No, come back here. Now he's stuck. Darn it. Hoping for a quick meal. Oh no, he'll just die right up there and I'll still won't be able to get him. Daily, I can't just throw the spear and like knock him off of there. It's not how it works. Probably go into the pond actually and go after a lot of tadpoles and such. We need their gold card and we can actually use a bunch of tadpole jerky. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do. I don't really have enough, like, food that's not cooked food, but still food I could just eat. I mean, I do have weevil jerky, but... I have one thing of aphid. Actually mean to do that. I guess I can, I thought I had to move all this stuff off of here, but I guess it's just lighting that makes you need to move stuff. Let's go ahead and sleep. I need to check to see if our garden is ready to harvest. Alright, I have to take a really quick break because I need to go and uh, switch out the laundry. So take this opportunity, you guys. Get up, stretch, get some more water, all that good stuff. And I'll be back in uh, just a couple minutes. Okay. That oh, I gotta set really my uh, my watch here. Okay. All right. Let's grab our water stuff. 
I'll get some jerky. Uh, do we have what it mean? What we need for fluid flipper? Did we did we make the fluid flippers? Like, where are my quests? Okay, yeah, we need to make five of them. Making them with muscle sprouts because I want to just get rid of those. Made five, and we're gonna use them too. Swim speed, yeah. Uh, let's take this chest piece. Oh, we need to upgrade that. Well, since we're using our spear right now, I'm not going to really worry about it. We'll... we'll make some stuff when I get back. Making the same mistake twice. I tried dropping like just offshore here, landed on the rock and killed and got myself killed. <laughs> We're gonna grab these over here as well. As long as we're over here. Oh, she's stuck in the wall there. That's unfortunate. Come on, charm. feather right there too. Oh, naturally. Oh, there's a couple feathers here actually, or looks like. A little concerned that the fish is gonna like swim right right by here. Mr. Tadpole. Hydration is the key to performance. Whoop. Nope. 
That's right. Swim away. Don't be able to be pathed over here. Get away from me. He's like swim right. Oh, there he is. I was like, he's swim right through there and be like, hello. I guess we'll swim along this wall, see if we can find the door. I don't I don't exactly know where it's gonna be, but we can uh certainly look for it. be like in the top area oh, look at all the tadpoles Charge! Surrender your gold card. Double kill. I miss the good old days when Tenchi and I's koi fish just slept all at, all day long. The koi fish seemed only active at night. I miss those days. Cave? Good cave? Bad cave? It looks like we were in here already. Should have probably repaired our torch. Uh, 
Oh, Santa, what happened to you not searching for this door? Well, <clears throat> not that I'm going to search for it long. I'm more or less after tadpoles. Easy jerky. card. Whoop. <sighs> time. We never peeped it? I, I didn't realize you could peep the koi fish. I think, I feel like that confirms it, right? That we're gonna be fighting that as a boss. There it is, gold card. Oh, they're, uh, food. Trying to hide. Rotten fl fin flops. That's apparently a mushroom. I mean, I haven't seen any kind of entryway to it yet.
I'll get myself stuck. This is the uh, ant totem place. I think we got everything from in here. already been in here. I mean, that's kind of like the entirety of the North Wall. I mean, unless it's like way at the bottom. But I'm pretty sure we... Pretty sure we check this whole wall. Imagine it's not by the, uh, not by the lab. at the top. I'm checking out the bottom now. Ow. If there's any obvious uh, holes. I think we went through here, yeah? This is the first hole we went in, I think. Yeah, it was. There's nothing back here, right?
Yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess we're just not gonna we're not gonna find it. We've been up and down this part of the pond now a couple times. Collected a lot of jerky, though. No gold card yet. Hi there. Now we're on the south side of the south side of the pond. Yeah, unless we have to like go down below somehow. You know, there's like a way down right there, but Thought I got rid of you two. Oh, still no gold card. It burns. I don't recall if I got the water flea cold card either. More tadpoles. So this is one of the reasons that we're going to eventually, Grounded is going to eventually become like weekend games, games of strictly just me running around murdering like a single bug until we get the gold card. The tadpoles want you gone. Imagine the tadpoles just like somehow rising up, growing legs, and attacking your base. That wouldn't be terrifying at all. Oh, 
All right, it's starting to become nighttime. So let's go ahead and head back. Let's do some scanning and check on the mussel sprouts. How many aphids is that? Those are ready. The garden's not. Let's head home really quick because I want to... Uh, hold on. Let's scan for a char. Alright, the Arbitrar is back. Head back to base. I'm going to repair my torch real fast. We'll go, and then we'll go get that Everchar. Sounds like a good thing to do. Did I upgrade my spear to max? Yes, I did. That might be a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue. We gotta research that. Feeling refreshed. All right, let's go get that Everchar. Armoring up. We're gonna kind of do like a little bit of a back and forth here. I'm gonna go get the Everchar, we'll go home, we'll switch out our armor, go after the Termite King, because I'm sure he's been waiting for a few days. <sighs> I'm gonna yawn. Not like I'm not drinking coffee to keep myself awake.
a little itch. How long do we got with these? Three hours, so they will be ready shortly. Oh, I got not one from woke up. Hey, you better ha hop away from me. I say that was it. 26 sounds about right. Seems like that was it. I feel like just chilling here until the muscle sprouts are ready at this point. have one hour left. Oh, well, by the time we get back here, they'll be ready. We're gonna, we're gonna go grab the stuff for the Termite King next. Where you get our armor set up. And then we'll come back. We'll get the Termite King, and by then, by then the Haze should probably be ready. Another round at trying to get that charm. And we get some more burrs to continue working on the house.
Let's see what we got for sap. Um, no, let's not do that. Put it in there for now. I don't want my repair glue to, like, just disappear. Looking. This beer is looking pretty good. Uh, we can get water at the uh, pond thing just before the Termite King. Let's go pay the Termite King a visit. How many times have we killed him? Whoa. Excuse me. Ten times. See if number 11 is the charm. We got 145 of the soldiers killed. 193 of the workers and got their gold card already. That tastes really good. Oh, we don't. Oh, we're turning around. I don't have my dust guard, and that just makes the whole thing that much easier. We need a new stat of how many times I turn around because I forgot something. This is probably a lot. Trinkets. Now we can go. I mean, we're really close to being able to get into our bedroom. Redesigning all that so it looks nice. Put a bunch of more coziness things down there, see if we can max out our coziness. Uh, 
And when we're all done with that, then we're going to work on the oak tree. Finalize that. We still got to finalize the garden here, but that's going to kind of come down to how fast we can get uh, spoiled meat. And we got to come over here and finish the, the little wall that we got going. Just got to build all these yet. Just because we can. I think these are probably ready now. Yep. Probably easier if I do this. Or not. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's a little easier. No, or, or it's not easier. I feel like I'm missing some. So 36 is the number. You get 36 from that. Yeah! Still got more to build. Now we'll never have health potion problems again. Right, so we just gotta fill up our water when we get up here. another weapon I want to kind of upgrade to uh, its max. I 
Hydration is the key to performance. Charge. Beautiful. to slaughter some termites make them even more mad at me I really should start bringing bringing liquid rage to this so I could do even more damage or, or try to get myself killed one of the two try to use a potion too quickly Switch and just start spamming, just blow everyone up. It doesn't do much damage, but it sure is fun to do. As long as you have potions, you can pretty much tank through anything. Termite here! Time to call the exterminators! Oh, I didn't have my, uh main boots on. I wonder I was taking a bunch of damage. I like almost died before. No gold card for those soldiers. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have any ammo. Gosh darn it. I'll say that's one way to get them to, like, lure them over here, but I don't want to lure all the workers. Oh, we didn't even bother to grab the thing from outside. Still no gold card. We haven't quite gotten to the point where we're going to start save scumming stuff like this yet, but... You know, maybe down the road. I don't really feel a need to right now anyway. All right, well, let's head back. It's almost dawn. <gasps> oh. mm. yeah. There we go. Best ever. Oh, I had to build like a little step stool. <laughs> have a little step stool to get on there. Oops, that's all. That's all done. I don't need that anymore. That tastes really good. All right, I think the haze is going to be ready for us. Been a couple of days. Four o'clock in the morning. So we'll take another crack at. Uh, if, if it's not ready, then we're gonna head to the lumber yard and we're gonna send a shipment of uh, weed stems and stuff over and work on the stuff over there. That's something we can do for a whole day. Because when we do go to the haze stuff, we'll get some burrs as well. So what we'll do is we'll grab our ant armor. We'll wear this stuff. We'll just grab the armor and have it with us. Oh, and we gotta grab clay and everchar, I think. Yes, we need clay and everchar so we can build those other two uh, brazers. And we'll have to see if we've got some. I know we have crude rope. We need sprig, dry grass, and we need a ton of crude rope, but. So we got some lamps and stuff we need to build, actually, too. Whoopsie-daisy. Did not mean to do that.
Okay, so we're gonna grab our building armor. Trinkets away. We're not going to need the bonds. Here, we'll put our repair glue in here too because we got that nearby hot deposit turned off. Save a little more inventory space. And I guess technically. We can put our crossbow, because I'm not really using my crossbow right now. Can I build the hot tub? It says I'm supposed to build a hot tub. I cannot build a hot tub. Mantgong? Inspire immense attack strength for a short duration. A mantis fountain. Beautiful fountain made from a fallen mantis. It's a permanent water source. Well, that's beautiful. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, we can put this outside. I could devour a Billy Hog right about now. That's cool. Even though I'm not unlocked the the gong, I don't know I when I got that. I could devour a Billy Hog right sign. about now. God, I'm not sure when I unlocked this. Yeah. Kind of waiting for these to be done because I want to upgrade my... Upgrade my mace. Before we head out. I like how all this is... This ended up looking. I feel like we could put like a bug there though. I don't know what to put there. Mantis is a little too big. Maybe we can put like all the worker ant stuff on this. Cause like this is where our crafting area is, like worker ants. We put like a worker ant collage right there. Maybe. Level nine. Beautiful. All right, let's head over. To the haze. See if those, if that stuff's ready for us. If it's not, then we'll go to the lumber yard. Probably gonna probably go for a little, probably another hour or so. I got about 17 minutes before I have to go switch out laundry again.
I can't I can't wait for outward. I'm like getting the itch that I kind of want to like start earlier, but I'm like nope nope gotta wait gotta wait for getting back from Vegas that that was the agreed upon plan and we need some extra time in order to get this situated it actually doesn't look like that stuff's ready but we're still gonna go ahead and just drop and find out oh that was a horrible uh, spot to drop Ow. Now that's damage. Hey, we got it. That ant's got some moves. Yeah, I don't need to fight you guys anymore. So yo. Bye. Uh, nope, they're ready. Okay. I mean, I don't know if the the burrs are ready, but these seem, these things seem ready. Come on, charm. That's like at a one percent chance of actually dropping. We're gonna need to start making use of the trash bin here pretty soon. There's some burrs. if the bugs can drop them I mean because they do drop fun fungal growth but I don't think I don't think they drop the trinket dude I'm just destroying these things now Usually a third one in there. Or did I pick it up? Must have picked it up. Otherwise that was probably the trinket. Whoops. I thought that was, I didn't realize that was the exploding boy. Wait, did he just blow up a, a gnat? It looks like he did. Bad no, bad gnat. Give me your gold card. Really wish they would make these trink like the these trinkets you should be able to craft them with like 400 or something like, i'm fine with it being a ridiculous number but you should be able to craft them at some point instead of just 
continuing to rely on luck. I can't one-shot them? Nope. I was gonna like fall into the little hole there. Stamina. I just have an absolute ton of fungal growth right now. really funny if I had the trinket and it was just in a chest somewhere that I completely forgot. But I don't think I have it unlocked, so I'm sure I don't have it yet. How many aphids is that? Yeah, the infected uh, area has a bunch of them, I think. If I recall correctly. Do I have food? I have some food, but not like eat edible food at the moment.
missed like all four of them. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of these guys in here. <gasps> there it is, the fungal charm. I gotta drop something. Yeah, buddy. All right, got what we came for. Let's get out of here. Now I'm just after burrs. Now I don't care about anything else. Beautiful. Of course, we actually have to head back. I'm going to see if I can get some food here. Yep, fungal charm. Uh, doo -doo -doo, right there. Explosive resist. So, infected wolf spider, the infected brood mother, that's like a beautiful charm to have. Like, we can, we can just unleash the uh, infected wolf spider now. We could probably actually go fight him, too. Maybe we'll do that. Is the key to now that I have it. We got a bunch of... We do have to farm for, like, more liquid rage and stuff, though. I do kind of want to... Make sure I have plenty of that. Gotta get them gold cards. Yeah, that's right. See, oh, I do have a free slot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a stack of dry grass as long as I'm here. Because again, we have those. Uh, we're, we're already by the lumber mill, so we're gonna run over there really quick. But we have uh, a couple of sconces yet to build. We're just going to go ahead and get a stack. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave this stuff on me because we could probably use that. Alright, let's head over to the lumber. To the lumber yard. Did we peep a uh, infected wolf spider yet? Would he show up in the infected pieces? Got wolf spider. There he is. Okay, so his weakness is busting, fresh, slashing, and spicy. So like, I kind of want to get, um, I kind of want to upgrade the Coltana before we fight him. Because slashing and spicy would be good. But since he's got like that blowing up stuff, that's where the fungal charm comes in. Then we should have an easier time fighting him. So our next upgrade needs to be the spicy Coltana. What, le what level is this? Level 7. So we're going to need um, 15... Stuff. So we gotta we were gonna have to wait for more uh scarabs to respawn. And as long as we're here, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our building Armor protection engaged. stuff. We're gonna send a lumber shipment over to the what you call it place. So now we just need to kind of bring sap it might might be oh, nope, now we're barking. What is this? Oh my god, we need a pine cone here. Ooh, wait a minute. 
Is she barking at my order coming in? Maybe, possibly. He's barking at somebody across the street. No, it's just out for delivery. Darn. We got the dry grass portion of this out of the way. That way we just need to bring sprigs and sap. Then this place will be 100% finished. Once we get more pine cones. Oh, we needed five. We needed ten. Okay, we have to go get on a clay run. Come on now. Ooh. Oh, I got stuck. If I didn't have a full inventory. Here, we can do this, though. There we go. Technically, if we see more, we can get their jerky. We need their. We need the Weevil Gold card. I know that. Weevil. Oop. Right, we actually have an ad break coming up, which is perfect because I gotta go switch out laundry, so I'm gonna let that play. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna wait for that to queue up. Got 40 seconds! Okay. Alright, I will be right back. So when I got uh, when I got down there, it was still had four minutes to go, and I was like, "Oh crap!" So I was a little bit off. Prod, hi Prod. You need to change your next game. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I'll make sure I have that changed by the next stream. We should be done with breaks now. Yeah, I'll have to change it. I'll have to change it to outward because we're gonna be playing outward next. How are you doing, Prod? How's uh how's the week been? Which also also just a heads up, Prod. Uh we're thinking about playing DRG tonight after I eat dinner. I'll make a ping on the Discord, but just so you're aware if you want to join us. I feel like I feel like you said you had DRG. But I'll make a ping on the Discord. sick early oh yeah i feel like you, you were were you at on my stream on wednesday i feel like i saw you on wednesday or monday or which at one of those two days and i thought i feel like i remember you saying you weren't feeling too hot well i hope you're at least getting better my allergies if it were kicking in 
So I'm like taking my allergy medicine now, which is kind of odd for this time of year. But is what it is, I guess. No, oh, today is no good. I mean, I guess it's kind of a blessing for my allergies to come by already, unless unless they're gonna like all of a sudden hit me, ow, hit me like twice in a row or something. I hope they're not going to. I think that's like all the dry grass chunks. I mean, I have 11, but I think that's all of them for uh, what's remaining here. So next time we come to the lumber mill, we need I, somebody needs to remind me to um, get some clay. Like we need to, we need to do a clay run before we come back here. It's really good. All right, we'll send this stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to head on this, this line. I'm going to head back home really fast. I'm going to grab um, some crude rope because we're going to send all of this, all these stems over to the garden. And we'll, we'll just see if we can build the, uh... Well, we gotta see what more we need to put on the garden patches themselves, but... Then we'll see if we can put any more on the, uh... On the wall floor. So we'll just take this home. That was a good expedition. Got another, uh... 47 burrs. We found our fungal charm. So we're ready for the inspected spider. We're going to get the Coltana upgraded next uh, to max. But we got to wait for more twinkling stuff. We're going to have to get that scanned so I can put that away. Not that we need to scan it, but we are going to scan it because I don't like the little red exclamation mark. puppy at my feet. Now they all are getting unloaded. I guess it was a good idea for us to connect a line straight to straight to the lumber mill. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose of our little highway over there, but if I had to go straight home, I guess it works out.
until I do that. <laughs> I, got this, I, got this, I saw that coming. I was, I was, all of a sudden, I'm like, uh, well, that kind of, now it defeated the purpose. <laughs> oh, Watch, crap. Coming through. Okay, I take it back. I'm going to get rid of that line so that we never make that mistake again. Oh, that's not what I meant. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, for crying out loud! Yeah, I mean, I um, is is that thing underwater? Because we did spend a bit uh, running around. Oh, it's not underwater. Oh, well, that's probably why I didn't. Uh, well, in that case. Can I get back up there? It's above... It's above the water? I'm a little, I'm a little worried that the fish is moving now. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. So it's up, up here somewhere? Or I should I should say this. Am I able to get to it without building? Cause then it's kinda pointless for me to be looking for it, I guess. By by, by affirmative you mean it I do have to build? Oh no building needed, okay. But it's like over here, hey? Assuming somewhere along this wall. It's ground level. Be like super obvious. And coming through. Ooh, Weevil. What direction is this facing? So this is facing like inwards to this. I mean, I don't, I don't see how they're gonna make like the koi fish a fight from here. I mean, that doesn't seem. And I don't feel like that's gonna be a possibility. Oh, there's a milk molar here that we never got. I don't feel like that's going to happen. I could be wrong. I have a zip line that's actually over here, so it's probably good that we're running this way. was uh neat fine I 
I mean, I could see that being like leading somehow to an ant queen. But I mean, they're going to have they're going to have to add some some sort of event or lever or something that you push. They got to have some sort of opening down here. If you're going to fight that that particular koi fish, you'd have to like have some kind of lever in order to like open it up so it can swim over there or something. Or swim down there. Like that doesn't That doesn't seem like it's going to be a thing. Unless there's like a baby koi fish that you can fight or something like that. I don't know. That's too far. That's too far inland, I think. But it is kind of like... You could almost explore down there where there could be like an ant type boss, maybe. Noof inland. I think it'll be fun. Gotta grab some uh, sprigs and sap so we can finish these. Came here to grab some food. Drink it. have a thing for let's uh, we'll put the dry grass in here that'll be fine okay and then I needed to grab crude rope I need to make a bunch of crude rope too. All right, let's go. Somehow I re-put it back in the chest. Alright, I'll transport that lumber. So, I mean, for sure, we're probably not going to be able to fight the infected wolf spider today just because I'm not going to have the equipment upgraded yet. 
but did I bring the I did not bring the thing back down. Hopefully tomorrow we will be able to have a chance at the infected wolf spider. So for sure look forward to that tomorrow. Oh, now I kind of, you know what? After we're done with Outward. Actually, I think after we're done with Grounded. Because Outward is going to kind of be like in the middle of Grounded here. You know, we, we do need to uh, start a playthrough of Valheim here pretty soon. Valheim is going to be like another one of those games where it's just going to take a long time for us to get through anything. Valheim's definitely on my list that I need to kind of make a playthrough of. Server Valheim. I think that's going to be kind of difficult to do. I mean, I'm fine with uh, giving it a try, but trying to get everybody kind of synced up to a to a time there's like it's there's too like we could still do a server i'm just saying like as far as me streaming it i probably need to stream myself like playing single player or something you know people play at different times can't always commit like wolf and i are gonna play outward here uh in a couple weeks and i'm sure wolf is not gonna be able to play every single time that i stream Yeah, I mean, I, I still think, like, once Valheim comes out 1.0, that's kind of when I want to do the server. That's kind of more when I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah, I could do that, too. I know for sure I'm going to do a single player playthrough of it at one point just because, but uh, yeah, that's I still want to do the server thing. It'd be also nice to like get a group of people for Project Zomboid too and do a little like group server playthrough of that. I need sprigs for that. I should have probably brought some sprigs with me. Oh, that was all the... Yeah, that was all of it. I just remember the last time when we did Valheim, there was like several... I mean... A lot of people fell behind, but for the most part, those of us that stuck with it were able to kind of like link up for all the boss fights. But it is kind of, you know, when you're trying to like halt the server progression until everybody is like ready for the boss fight, that's kind of a, that's kind of hard to pull off too. So 
That's that, but I, th I feel like I want to do the, I want to do a server when the game comes out completely in 1.0. Me playing single player soon is just to like advance, like stay away from the areas that are still in development. That way I can still like come back to the game probably, hopefully. I'm gonna end up using up all my crude rope right here. I mean, if you want to join me on sailing adventures, we can fire up the good old Sea of Thieves. You know. I think once I get bored of uh, DRG, as far as like a side game goes, I'm going to probably fire up Sea of Thieves again. You don't have space for Sea of Thieves on your draft. Well, it sound, sounds like you need to start uninstalling some games that you're not playing. I still, I still watch a ton of people like stream Sea of Thieves, which always, of course, naturally likes makes me feel like, yeah, I should get back into this. This looks easy. But then I know in the back of my mind, it's like, no, it's not. You're bad at the game. You're horrible. I mean, when I, when I was playing, I was pretty difficult. Like, as a solo player, I was kind of difficult to sink. You know, I was pretty good at managing that stress, but... Yeah, I couldn't, uh... My, my ability to sink others is definitely something that is a skill to be desired. This is gonna be a little bit difficult to pull off. I don't want to, like, have this stuff despawn on me, so we're gonna have to use it. Maybe this will help. Oh god. Or wait a minute, let's just do this. Whoop. Hold on, I can do it. Yeah, I got this. Jump. Jump higher. Jump on the thing. Yeah, like that. There you go. Hydration is the key to performance. Jump on it. There we go. All right, cool. So now we just need to bring uh, spoiled meat, uh, more crude rope. And some acorn tops, it looks like. I love this! Yeah! Now we can see how much of our burrs we can use. Well, we have, actually, what I'll do is I'll scan. I don't know how long it takes those twinkling, those scarabs to respawn. I think it takes like five days. But we can check. We're already at about three hours at the stream, so I mean, we're also getting pretty close to. To the end of the end of the uh, end of the stream. Sailing, are we playing Sea of Thieves again? Tenchi, where were you? We were just discussing this. How much longer are you staying? Uh, I mean, it depends on how much. We're, I'm gonna use up my stuff here, and then I'll probably call it. Yeah, you missed the discussion, Tenchi. Probably when I'm when I get bored of of Deep Rock Galactic, I'll probably fire up Sea of Thieves again as like a community game. I still want to do that for, like, Fridays, having, like, Deep Rock Galactic streams. I 
But, uh, like, for now, it's Deep Rock Galactic. I, I want to play DRG. It was this moment I realized DRG has Deep Rock. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to play it tonight. I'll ping on the Discord when I'm ready. I don't know if I'm going to stream it at all. I don't really feel like... I don't really know if there's a point and I kind of, like, don't want to stream in the evening on weekends. But, uh... Definitely can, um... Do some, uh, mining tonight. Thought DRG What's was Dragoon. Funny enough, uh, one of the builds in Outward that I want to try at some point is a Dragoon build. It's actually called Dragoon. But I don't think it's going to be the one that I'm going to be with Wolflow. Not unless Wolflow goes, wants to go do the correct um, faction quest, which for an archer, we're going we're gonna to be going back to Levant. That's just how it is. <laughs> Garbage. We, we litter in this game. That's how we do. That's why the bugs are mad at me. Is because I litter. I'm getting too far away. Wendell, you've been looking at the floor for the past, like, three hours. I really wish there would be, like, more flooring options for outside, instead of all these, all this pebble. But that is, is what it is. Okay, let's get, uh, I need a half burr wall. Or floor, sorry. Oop, I'm not going to be able to do that, it looks like. Floor. Oh, we almost got done. We still have this floor, too. I gotta... An exchange. Outside of that, then this, uh, this floor here will be done. So we have to get more burrs. Oh, I forgot to scan for the scarabs. Okay, so what we're going to do is I want to put a bridge right here. I suppose there's like a half spot I can put that on, no?
Um. get through all this stuff. Then what I kind of want to do is put like a chest right here. I'll put another chest up here. In fact, actually, I feel... Actually, you know what? I think we're going to leave the one chest there. I'm going to take this down. Can we put... Like a shelf right here, maybe? Everything looks good from here. more centered. I don't know if like another shelf next to it would look fine. keep like that there for the actual food stuff storage then we could put something like up here I don't know what yet but put like a bug or something we could put a sign right here I'll put another one try to put it like over this guy we got a little dice roll we have a bunch of signs that we haven't unlocked yet either, so I'm gonna have to probably get that. Yeah, do the early access sign. So I did play the game in its early access. I 
Then we just need something like in the center there. There, there's no aphid, uh, aphid one. I guess we can put a. Oh, we could put like a big weevil one. I can get it if I can get this to like somehow be in the center of the <laughs> which is definitely not gonna happen I almost have to like move this stuff to re realign this so that way it's centered um I mean this this picture is not really centered let's get that out of the way oh my god Why am I having such a problem with this? I gotta, like, place a new one? I could devour a billy hog right about now. I think what we might do is let's take this, put that over here. Let's actually move this. Like that. Ooh, if only I could get it like right there. Here, let's okay, we'll get rid of this. There we go. I don't want to... Oh, my lord. Yeah. Okay, now let's get this down here. There we go. That'll work. And then we could probably put like a... I don't know if we're going to keep this string lights up. Now that we have better lighting options. Because I want to I want to kind of like put a chandelier here. I don't know which one, but... Because now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure... Um... How much light each one of them gives so we're probably gonna have to experiment we can put the brood mother down uh right now Let's see what that one looks like i guess eh. i mean it doesn't really seem to be giving off uh Hold 
lot of light. It kind of also blocks the other ones. How far does that hang down? That one I feel like would be a little bit better here. That one hangs hangs down a little too far. But we're going to put this upstairs because we're going to definitely use this up here. So we'll try putting this... Try using this guy. Then maybe what we'll do is we'll lower these two. There we go. Now we got our little kitchen. So we just got to build the rest of this. I don't know if I'm actually going to keep those there. So we got like this area here that's not used. What we'll to figure out a use for? That tastes really good. <laughs> I completely forgot about the oven. <laughs> now we can put it right here. Yeah, I mean that's that's a little off, but I think it'll be fine. I mean, we could put the oven there still. The only problem is, like, we can't get a... We can't get a quarter... One of these floors right in the middle of here. That's not gonna work. Like, so that's not how that works. Unfortunately. Unless I want to put... I mean, technically speaking, this would actually make sense to put here. If I could get through these goblin shelves. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that would be the, the issue. I don't know if... Can you put this on one of these shelves? I guess not. I, mean, I suppose we could just set it next to it. We could have one on either side, I guess. Oh my god, the shelves are just... I can't, I can't put things down with those shelves. We can do that. This can get moved over slightly. Everything looks good from here. Thanks, Wendell. There we go. All right, I'm not I'm not making any more changes. To that that's our kitchen. That's it. It's finalized. We're done. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this corner yet. I got to think about this corner. We should really do something. I want to make use of all the spaces that we have. Again, that's why I feel like down here is that we're going to end up redesigning this entire place. We gotta put. Oh, we can make. Oh, I know what we can do over here. We can make a little, uh, a little like a dining nook. You know, we could uh, put the. We change these to windows, maybe. Change these two here to windows, and then we'll make like a little dining nook. Make it look nice. I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll add that to my to my list. Remember to log out far away from your base. Nonsense. We'll be fine. 
It's not every time. It's like every other one. We're, we're going to test this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test to see if it's every other time that we end up getting attacked. All right. I feel like that is a great place for us to go ahead and save the game there. We'll sign out away from our base tomorrow.